Hey, have you ever used cinnamon, or specifically cinnamon bark essential oil? I know it's not an essential oil that I have used as frequently. I have a tendency to use more blends that contain it, but I've started learning a little bit more about it and discovering some of the great ways that it can be used. So stay tuned in this video for some really good ideas about how to use cinnamon bark essential oil. One, first you can add a drop or two to a drink, like a hot tea, hot coca, something like that can work really good. This is my picture where I boil water basically in this device and you could just add like one or two drops along with your tea or hot chocolate. Second, you can add one or two drops to like baked goods where you would normally add cinnamon like an oat uh, bar or cookie of some kind or whatever other kind of a sweet that you're making. Or it's really great this way, you just have to be really careful to not add in more than one or two drops. Third, you can add in a drop, one be, or two maybe, you want to be really careful, into water. And then you can swish it out in your mouth like a mouthwash. Fifth, you can also add a couple drops of it to a diffuser and diffuse it to help cleanse and help with some bacteria and viruses in the air in your house. However, I probably wouldn't just do cinnamon alone, so I'll probably try it with like a balsamic herb or I don't know about the citrus there, but I'll find something else that I'll diffuse that with as well. You can also use it to help support your immune system in your body by putting it on the bottom of the foot. Personally, well, actually everybody needs to do this because it's a super hot oil. You're going to want to combine with some kind of a carrier oil. This is like a blend of different carrier oils and use, you know, just again, be really, really careful. Probably just one drop with a bunch of carrier oil because it is really hot and can burn you if you do it any other way. Okay, I'm just prepping my foot and then you want to put a cotton sock over it afterwards to help it absorb into your bloodstream. You can also use cinnamon essential oil to help with pests and other aspects in the garden. This is not something I'm a big expert on, but I have read that that can work. You probably put maybe five to ten drops like in a spray bottle of water and, you know, maybe with even some other kind of cleanser or something or baking soda or something and spray it around either in the garden or outside because I've read that it's a really good re um, way to repel pests. So that's another idea. In short, cinnamon essential oil can be used in a lot of ways and for a lot of different purposes. A couple other ideas you can also use is you can also use it to help with cravings. I know I've successfully used it as part of a protocol to help people quit smoking. It can also help balance your blood sugar as well and your metabolism. So anyhow, there's just a lot of different ways that you can use cinnamon essential oil. Hopefully you found some good ideas in this video. If you did, I'd love if you'd comment and let me know what your favorite way is. And if you have any more questions about it or any other essential oils, feel free to reach out. Also like and share this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos about other uses of essential oils and other health and wellness related topics. Thanks and have a great day.